So another common animation technique is using what's called an expression controller. An expression controller allows you to actually use a mathematical expression that can uh, dictate uh, certain parameters of your animated object. Um, in this case, we still want the ceiling fan to rotate uh, along the Z axis. So we're going to assign a controller, in this case, a float expression to that. And in this particular case, that expression is going to be, and you can find these uh, all over the place, uh, Autodesk uh, Knowledge Center, there's got a, a, a ton of these that can work in many, many instances. So in this case, it is S times speed, speed being our variable. We can change that to what, you know, however, however fast we want it to be, times 360 degrees times pi, you all know what that is, divided by 180. Now what this does, so in this variable, we're going to create that variable, that variable speed. So we're going to create that, and now we can assign that to a constant. You know, that can be 1. We can see what that does. We can assign it to another controller, which I'll show you about another time. Um, so in this case, we're going to evaluate that. Any problems? doesn't look like it. So we close that up, and we go ahead and hit play. Boom, that's spinning. It's also spinning backwards again. So we can still go back in there. Just double click on that expression. We can change that speed, sign to a constant to negative one. Evaluate, if you need be, press play. Now it goes the other way. If we want that constant speed to change again, that's yeah, negative 0.5. Hit play, it just goes a little bit slower. So you can see, just using that mathematical equation, it is going to set a constant. You do not have to work. There's no keyframes there whatsoever, and that is pretty cool.